What is up, YouTube fam? What's going on? All right, so I'm going to share with you guys what I got on my two-day dive from the dumpsters. And oh my goodness, it's a lot of stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay. So I don't even remember. I went to so many damn dumpsters, but I'm going to try and remember. So this thing right over here I got from the B.L dumpster. And this is a five piece quilt set. This is a queen, comes with one quilt, two standard pillow shams, and two decorative pillows. And it just says needs written off on the little piece of paper that they taped on it. Um, I have a king size bed and my twins have bunk beds. So this I am going to be donating. I'm just leaving it right in here. I have a huge, huge corner of my game room downstairs that is filled with things I need to take to Goodwill. I'm doing that tomorrow. I have to. I have to get some of this stuff out of my house. But it's super cute. It's a cute little quilt. It is brand spanking new. And I have no idea why they put it in the dumpster, but I saved it and I will donate it. So that is an awesome thing to donate. I love when I find um, blankets or comforters, things like that. I've kept a lot of the comforters that I found because my girls like to have, like we say it's like a sleepover and we put blankets and comforters and sleeping bags on the floor or set up their little mini tent and I put comforters inside to make it comfortable for them and we watch movies all night. So anytime I find them, I usually keep them. But this one, since it has you know, the whole set in there. I want to donate that. So that's what's going on with that. I went to a dollar store dumpster and you see me grab something out that was orange in a little bag and all it is is Tootsie Pops. So I don't think it's opened, but they're all individually wrapped. So I figured this would be good for the kiddos um, and me because <laughs> I like candy. I'm not going to lie. So that was a good find. Then I went to, mm, I went to the one where I dropped my flashlight and I like freaked out and screamed and ran. All I got was this huge tote, but I am actually going to be leaving this in my trunk because when I get stuff, like when I got some of the stuff from the candle dumpster, the bags were leaking because they dumped lotion and body wash and everything in the bags and it leaked all in my trunk and it's carpeted back there. So thankfully it smells great in my car, but I don't want it to leak in my car. So I'm just going to leave this in my trunk from now on and anything I find goes right in here. So this is perfect because it's not in very good shape. Um, it's not broke. Yeah, no. It's kind of, it's cracked right there, but it's not in great shape. So I figure, I don't care. I'll just clean the inside out with some soap and water. And then anything I find, I'll just throw it in there and leave it in my car. So that was a good find as well. And then, let's see. I went to the dollar type store near my house. And you guys see me actually get in that dumpster. Well, the reason why I got in is because you see me, I had to pick that huge box up. That box was filled with all of this. We have some nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips. We got a couple bags of this caramel popcorn. A couple bags, my kids love these, white cheddar cheese balls. So there's a bunch more of the caramel. A bunch more cheese balls. More cheese balls, another nacho cheese, another not two more nacho cheese, so that's four, five bags of nacho cheese. We got four, five bags of barbecue chips. And if you are wondering, these are all dated for August, so that would be why they were put in the dumpster. Um, and one more, two more, three more. Caramel. So there's like five or six or seven of these little caramel popcorns, which none of us like, so I will be giving those away. My kiddos absolutely love these tortilla chips with the Fritos mild cheddar cheese sauce. Love them. Um, if you're wondering, they're all still filled with air. None of them 
have been opened. And we got a bag of sour cream and onion. So a lot of this is going to be coming with me to work tonight and I will be setting it up and anybody that works there that once helps themselves to all this and I just leave it at work and whoever wants it takes it. And we got a bag of Sweet Smiles 3D Gummy Mixed Fruits and these are actual like little pineapples and little apples. They're so cute. So my kids will eat those up. I got, um, these are supposed to be like the reading glasses, but the glasses are off. It's just the case. So somebody must have stolen the, case, the glasses. So they just threw the case out. So I will just donate that with my the rest of my stuff. And I got some cold sore treatment. The box was opened, but still sealed and perfectly fine. But they can't sell it with the little tab missing to keep it closed. So somebody must have ripped it by accident. I don't know, but I'll donate that as well. Um, let's see. Oh, there were some clothes as well that you seen me just throw out of the dumpster and into that giant box. So this is what I found. This is just a pair of women's size small shorts, which will fit me and I will wear to bed. Or to just lounge around in the house or go dumpster diving. So it's supposed to have a shirt, but it doesn't. So that's probably why they tossed them and there's no tag attached. No. So that's awesome. I'll wash those. I thought this was cute. This is a medium. I think it's a men's. Yeah, it's a men's medium Scooby-Doo shirt. How cute is that? I will totally rock that. I used to love me some Scooby-Doo back in the day. So I will wash that. And then just a medium long sleeve gray t-shirt. And again, perfect for me. So I will wash that as well. And then there were these little girls, super cute little shorts with a little frilly skirt, like tutu skirt with a little bow on it. Um, let's see what size is it. Zero to three months. So those will also be donated. I'm sure they had a shirt that probably went with it. That's why they tossed it out. Then you guys seen me go to a dumpster where I grabbed some calendars out and that huge big plastic thing. Well, that huge big plastic thing that was rolled up was actually like, if you ever worked in an office and you have an office chair, they put clear plastic mats down so you can slide your chair easily on the floor. So that's what that was. And they threw that out because it was rolled up and it was stuck in that position. So what I did is I brought it home, unrolled it, and I put my husband's huge like 300 pound air tank on top of it and it flattened right back out. So it was really easy to do that. But I looked it up and here it is. It is huge. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see through the thing to see if you guys can see it. Um, that is, oh, let me put it back. $62, I think, for that size. I think it was like a 38 by 40 something. I don't remember. But I looked it up and it was like 62 or $65 that they asked for that. And that's brand new. There's not a mark on it, no flaws, nothing. So I'm going to actually put that up on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can get rid of that um, just to somebody locally because obviously I'm not gonna ship that out. It weighs a lot, so that would cost a lot to ship it. So hopefully I'll be able to sell that. Then I went to the bed type bath dumpster and it was overflowing, but sadly there was a ton of wood. I think it was like maybe a cabinet or something and they just took it out of the box and put all the big pieces of wood in the dumpster. So I couldn't move them around, they're way too heavy. The back door is legit right next to the dumpster and I've been caught there before. So I don't ever wanna be told to not come back. So that is why I don't park my car like so that you can see what I'm doing because I want to be able to get out of there fast and not have to have like an interaction with the manager and, or an employee. So the only thing that I was able to grab out of there is a towel. Um, it is a mainstays. It's a pretty nice big towel. It is actually right now covered in lotion from the candle dumpster because I will show you why in a second. So it's going to the washer. Um, next, you've seen me go 
Oh wait, I'm gonna save that for last. Okay, then I went to the $5 type store right after my doctor's appointment in a different town. And you see me just grab that huge bag out and then some posters with my grabber. So here's what I got. Inside that huge bag, there was a ton of garbage as well. So I didn't wanna bring that in my house. And so I had to do this outside in my driveway. And sadly, um, there was like yogurt or something that somebody was eating and it went over a lot of the items that were in that bag. So I just threw those away because I'm not messing with it. Um, but here is what I got. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got all these calendars too from the dumpster, the office dumpster that I got that clear chair mat. So I just kept grabbing and grabbing and I didn't realize that these are 2019. Now they are a 16 month calendar. So, but it still only goes to December. So I'm just gonna keep this one, which is really pretty. I wish they were 2020. And then I got a couple other of those. I got some cute little kittens, which I'll just give my girls these and let them play with these ones. And then I'll just donate the rest of these. I got a Muscle Cars, if I can pick it up. I got three more kittens. I got Hubble Space Telescope, we got four of those. That's pretty cool, it has like space on the back. I got a um, Psalms, Psalms? <laughs> I don't know. So that is something that I will donate. And then I'll just keep one of these kittens for the girls and let them color on it. And then I'll keep this one to hang up. All right. Then from the one where I got the posters and that giant bag, we got a first five days, which I have no idea what that is poster. These are the only ones that they didn't, they legit took them all and bent them. Um, this one is sass, a sassy saying, which I have no idea what it says. And then this one is Jessica Flick, Paris. So it must just be like a picture of Paris. And then we got, this super cute little, I don't know what it's for, but my girls will play with that. And then look at all these pens, guys. Look at all of those pens. We have, I don't know what that is. It's like a little chicken. We have Justice League, Lilo and Stitch, um, Cars. Oh, this one's cute. A Mickey, it has a bookmark and a pen. Um, Wonder Woman. Pirates of the Caribbean. This one has a whole bunch of markers, or no, these are all pens. Despicable Me 3. I'll put you back up here. Um, Shopkins, which my kids love. Justice League, here's another one with a bookmark. Um, Kingdom Hearts, I don't know what that is. Star Wars with a bookmark, Minnie Mouse, um, a couple that don't have Lilo and Stitch again. So what I'm going to do with these, Ren and Stimpy, Dragon Ball Z, Marvel Comics, and there's just a whole bunch of different pens here. What I think I'm going to do with these is I think I am going to Star Wars that has a little thing on the top. I'm going to take the ones that like my kids and you know kids in the classroom that they go to school with would know and I am just going to donate them. They have this thing at school where if the kids are really good then at the end of the week they each earn like pennies and they can cash their pennies in for prizes. So like sometimes they come home with little coloring books or little McDonald's toys, like all the parents just pitch in and we all donate toys, even used toys or things like this to the classroom. So that son is killing me. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with most of these is just donate them because there's a lot for boys and girls. So it would be great for their classroom. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. And then I will keep a few here, and then whatever I have left, I will just donate to Goodwill. Same with these posters, donate. Um, 
Then I went to, <clears throat> let's do the candle dumpster next. So let's move all these. You guys seen me grab a few bags and um, those baskets back that I have sitting back there. So first things first, I grabbed some bags. Sadly, they dumped out every single bottle of lotion, shower gel, everything in those bags. There was nothing that I could save except for this, which is covered in lotion, so I put it in these baggies. Um, this is Bath & Body Works White Cosmic Cream, and it is almost completely full. So I just took it out in, of the bag and set it in here until I can wash it off. Ew. Then I got a super cute fall lid that just says the candle store name on it. And it has just um, a pumpkin and then the leaves at the top, if you can see that. I got a um, Wicked Strawberries Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. And it is almost completely full. It was a um, tester at the store. But I just peeled these stickers off and then good to go. So it's for Halloween. And I just wash these off. And then I always keep a bunch in my car because I sanitize my hands. A lot of you have been saying, why don't you wear gloves? Because I forget them every day. I legit have them. I bought a whole bunch. And I forget them every day. <laughs> So I keep a lot of these in my car. I have one connected to my keychain and my kids have them in their book bags connected to their keychains. We have them everywhere because I use this all the time and so do they. So that will just go into our pile that we have already here. And there was a, another, this actually holds the hand sanitizers. So that's good for the one on my keychain if it ever breaks or the girls on their book bag, I have an extra. And then we have a, um, I don't know what scent this is. Doesn't smell that great, but this is a uh, wallflower refill, like the scents. Um, I use these downstairs in my game room. I don't ever light candles or wax warmers down there because we are never down there. So that way I can have it still smelling good downstairs and I don't have to worry about burning my house down. <laughs> so this will just go in our stash that we have. Then these were in the bag the one bag and i thought what these were were like a tray to hold like your candles and stuff but they're not first of all let me just tell you how much these are these were 24.50 and they of course ruined them but what it did say was we believe in the easter bunny and there was like ears here and it's like sparkly and cute but they scribbled all over it so, and they even did it on this side. So what actually I'm gonna do, and this is just a sign, there is this back here so you can hang it on your wall. So I'm going to just sand this down and paint it white. I have, my husband bought me paint and primer, so I have it. I'm going to repaint this white and I'm just gonna leave this side like this. This all has lotion and stuff in it from them putting it in the bag. So I'll clean these off. And then I'm actually just going to make different signs with these. So I'll show you guys once I finish them what I do with it. But some of the other haul I got from the $5 type store near this dumpster is what I'm going to do with this. So I'll show you that in a minute. So I got two of these for $24.50 each. They're just now throwing out Easter money signs. I don't know why. But they really destroyed them. And they put on here MOS. Does anybody know what that means? I don't know what that means. Okay, then these adorable baskets. So I'm just gonna show you this one. They're all three the same. The one I have right here, this one, the one that's like kinda in the front on the orange step stool, that one they dumped lotion and soap all over the top of it. So I need to take that outside and hose off the leaves. And thankfully they all come out. So I wanted to show you, I took this one out and it's just simply sitting on styrofoam. And it's just these little leaves that they stuck in here and they put like fake, they sprayed it with fake, fake dirt on the top. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see, it's like black there. So 
The basket they destroyed, of course, and it has a little welcome sign on it. Guess how much these were? Just guess. See if you can guess the price. Got a price in mind? Okay. $49.50. Are you out your goddamn mind? I could make this for $12. Like, come on. So what I'm going to do, um, there is a big piece of like tile that they sit on in here. So that needs re-glued in the bottom of the basket. What I'm going to do is somebody told me I can try um, alcohol or acetone to get this marker out. They only, they scratched out the welcome on that sign, side, but they didn't on this side. So this is still okay. They didn't destroy the rope. So what I'm going to try to do is get this mar marker off with rubbing alcohol or acetone. If that does not work, then I'm just going to simply spray paint them white. What else would I do? You know what I mean? I don't know if painting, like I was thinking maybe brown, but I don't know if that'll look right. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below what you think I should do with this. Should, If I can't get the marker out, should I just spray paint it white? Or should I maybe look for a spray paint that's close to like a natural wood finish? I don't know if they make that. I have no idea. I am not a, I'm not like a crafter, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, almost $50 for these things. Are you crazy? Who the hell would pay that much money for those? All right. Then I went to the $5 type store and I could not believe it, guys. They did not destroy one freaking thing. Not one. So some of the things are broken. Some of the things are not. Um, some of the things are missing parts, but you know, that's what, what it's like when you dumpster dive. So we got a mini skateboard, which my girls are loving. Sadly, there was only one, but uh, it's missing a little part on the wheel. Sadly, this is going to just go in the garbage because I don't know what part it's missing. And it was not in the bag. So, and I don't want my girls to get hurt. Um, then we got this AeroPlay play bucket. It has this gross stuff in it that we, me and the girls touched yesterday and it's really sticky. So FYI, don't buy this for your kids unless you want your house ruined. <laughs> It's supposed to just be like, like styrofoam, but it's sticky and all of this gets all over the place. So this is going in the donate pile. I do not want that in my house. We got a 360 degree ring case um, for an iPhone 8, 7, or 6. The little ring thing popped off, but you can easily put that back on. That's the only thing wrong with that. We got a couple headphones they did not cut the cord they did not break anything they did not destroy anything crazy right I got a whole bunch of speakers all which work and they light up so that's awesome of course it wouldn't be a five dollar type store score without a million phone chargers <laughs> I got a bunch of earrings some are missing more headphones, more phone chargers, another mount for my dash for my phone, more headphones. These ones are Minnie Mouse. Super cute. Um, gift bags. They did not destroy them. So we got this cute one that has little cupcakes, coffee, pizza, tacos, pretzels, hearts, etc. We got two plain pink ones, if I can get it. Two of those. We have one that has like confetti on it. Oh, another pink one. We got, look at how funny this is. My kids were walking around with this on their head yesterday. <laughs> it just says a mascot shark mask. So like for Halloween, so that's cute. Um, this will probably be donated, so. Um, another phone charger, more phone chargers. I will never need another phone charger in my life. I'll tell you that. We got a oversized mouse pad. Nothing wrong with it at all. 
So that will be donated. We got a iPhone XS or X tempered glass screen protector. That is a privacy screen. And it is in there, I checked, that will be donated. We got a bunch of these little cords that go to the speakers that I found, these things, so that's cool. Um, I got a aromatherapy um, thing where you put the essential oils in, but there's no batteries in this, but it does work. Uh, it's an aroma diffuser, I kept the box. Um, we got a stretchy wrestler which he's right here. He was out of the package and he does stretch. That will be donated. We got some more earrings. Um, this one is bent, but you can bend it back. There it is. Not really my style, but I'll donate them. And there's only one of these big ones, but I'll just donate that. Um, these ones are more my style. I don't wear gold, I wear silver. So I'll keep those. Um, I got um, a charge and listen adapter so you can listen to music while you're charging at the same time. So that's pretty cool. This little cupcake girl, it was like this and then you can take this off and pull her down and it's a little girl in a dress. <laughs> My kids loved it. And then you can put her little cupcake hat on. So my kids are keeping that. Um, we got this chocolate chip cookie with a roach connected to it. We got an LED light strip for TVs, room decoration, and more. So you just put this light strip here around whatever you wanna put it around. And then you have a remote control to change the color. We have a wall jewelry organizer that did have a letter D on it, but the D fell off. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> I don't know. I'll keep it, figure out something, I guess, or donate it. Uh, Toy Story 4 blueberry scented hand sanitizer. It's actually empty, but I'm going to, I have a huge thing of hand sanitizer, like a refill bottle. So I'm just going to keep this and clip it on one of the girls' book bags if they ever lose or we run out of our candle store dumpster ones. So that's an awesome score. We got one of these that's finally not broken. So the girls have been playing with that. It is kind of addicting. Um, we got some wild berry incense, which I don't use incense in my house. So these will probably be in my giveaway. A mesh locker bin with a magnet, which I'm actually just going to put on my stainless steel fridge and hold my pens in. A pet knit hat, size small. The only thing wrong with this is this is supposed to be sewn over here so that it can go around the dog's chin and stay on. And it even has a little thing for the ears on the side. How cute! <laughs> So this I am going to donate. So somebody who buys it at the Goodwill can just sew that or even glue that on for their dog. More of these little wires for something. We got a brand new umbrella, which I believe does work. Yep, voila, it works perfectly fine. Always need umbrellas, so this will stay in my car or in our coat closet so that we all have an umbrella when we need it. I don't think I've had to ever buy an umbrella in the past year that I've been diving. I find umbrellas all the time. We got a Type C heavy duty braided cable, six foot. So that's cool. We got a, another speaker that also glows different colors and it also works we got a I don't know how you say this it's a carbonated ramoon ramoon drink um, it's like a Japanese drink I'm guessing um, I know these are supposed to have like a ball or something in them is there a ball in here no but I told my girls we'd put it in the fridge and try it just to see what it tastes like 
I don't know. It's weird. Oh, there is a ball. You push this ball down, and that's how you open it. Okay. I get it now. Okay. Then we got... Oh, I did have something else. Here it is. Um, this was supposed to be connected on here. We got a 10 times suction cup mirror and tweezers. Well, the suction cup is missing, but the mirror is there. And these are awesome for when you need to pluck your eyebrows. So I'm keeping this. And then the tweezers, which I don't need the tweezers. I have found a million pairs of tweezers and I have my own tweezers. So these will be donated. But the mirror, I'm keeping that. Okay. Okay. Um, another charger, a phone case that you can put your ID or debit card in and then close it. Usually when I find these, they are broken, but this one is not, so I will donate this because it does not fit my phone. Um, can I show you these earrings? No, I also found these earrings, which are more my style as well, so I'll keep those. And that is it. Now, these were all in that bag as well, and they were on stakes, but the stakes were all broken. So what I'm thinking is, I am going to use these and make my own Halloween signs with these. Yay! So I'll sand this, I'll paint them white, and then I'll just decorate it for Halloween. And I will put, like, this stuff, I will nail it on or glue it on, however, and it would be super cute. And I can get some more stuff at, um the dollar store, like just go in and buy some stuff and add it on here as well. And then I was thinking of doing this one and doing this one fall. So I'll just buy some leaves and like a little sign that says happy fall y'all and put that on here and then just glue some leaves on it and make it like decorative. How cute would that be? Simple, easy and make, spend like three to four dollars on each sign. And it's a super cute decoration for outside or even inside your house. And that is it, guys. That is everything I got on my two-day adventure in the dumpsters. So, pretty damn good, I would say. Hmm? Yeah. Um, I... Oh, wait, no, I got one more thing. And I'm keeping this. This is Wet n Wild Finish Matte Finish Setting Spray. So, like, for when you do your makeup. And it's still even in the plastic. So, this is an awesome find. So still in the plastic, never used, never opened. Why it was in there, I have no idea because it's completely full. So let's use it now. Uh, perfect. It smells like hairspray though. <laughs> like I just sprayed a bunch of hairspray on my face. But that is it. Everything that I found in the dumpsters. Um, so I have a lot of items that I can donate I have a lot of items that I'm going to keep. I have some items that I need to fix um, and, you know, redecorate. I didn't find any candles, which was totally a bummer, but a ton of stuff that I can donate and people can still get use out of that doesn't end up in our landfills. So that is a plus in my book, but the kids are in school now, so I wanted to get this uploaded for you guys and recorded, and I need to go pick them up in a few hours, and then I need to get my butt to work. So. I need to start editing this now. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have yet to subscribe, please hit that button down there and hit the little bell next to it so you get notified when I post a new video. I am trying to do at least three videos a week. Um, hopefully more. We'll see. I don't know. It all depends if I find stuff in the dumpsters because, you know, you never know what you're going to find. If you're going to have a good day or if you're going to have a bad day at the dumpsters. You never know. But tomorrow is Thursday and I think I'm going to head out to the B.L store in the go-to town because I was not able to check that dumpster because there was a truck unloading at the dock. So I know that that big dumpster does not get emptied, of course, by the garbage men. So that big dumpster had a lot of stuff in it and I want to get back out there and check it and see if I can find maybe some other cool bar stools or who knows something else but yeah so hopefully i'll be able to get out there tomorrow and get a video up for you guys tomorrow as well so that's it thank you guys so much and as always happy diving bye guys